Hello, this is Jeff, and I just want to create a quick video to explain how to use a, to add a custom field to a form. Let's say this is our form here. Let's say we have a name, title, and content already added. We can scroll down, ignore the first custom field, that's for the whole form, but beneath that, we copy the custom field name and put it right in the form. That's the short code. We add it right to the form. Likewise, if we wanted to add two custom fields, we copy the second short code and add it right to the form. And just to let this sink in, there's three custom fields right there, all added to the form. To see, to see what this looks like on the front end, we can update and preview changes. Here we see our name, post title, post content, and example one, two, and three, these three fields are the custom fields. That's how you do it. That's all there is to it. We've just added three custom fields to our form. Now we can customize these too. We can use a vertical bar to denote a new attribute. Let's call that attribute, let's use the label attribute and we use a pound sign to separate the attribute name from the attribute value. And the attribute value, in this case, let's call this custom label. We update the field and the post. And then let's go look at this, refresh the page on the front end. And we see that our first custom field, we've changed the name of the label to custom label. We still have two others here. We could do the same for that. We could add the vertical bar as a separator, label for the attribute name, and then a pound sign to separate the name from the value. Let's call this custom label two. Let's call this custom label one. So we have one, two, and three. We update all three custom fields and the post. And then we view it on the front end. <coughs> there it is, custom label one, custom label two, and custom label three. In here, we have the placeholder, so we can change that as well. So we go back to our form, add the vertical bar as a separator, and then we add placeholder as the attribute name, and then a pound sign to separate the attribute name from the attribute value, and the attribute value is a placeholder or something, whatever you need. I am just making this up, so placeholder one. And we can copy this right into these others and just change it to two and three. So we have now added a custom placeholder as well to each of these custom fields. Update each one and the post. Return to the front end, refresh the page, and here we go, our custom label, custom placeholder for each field. And that's pretty much it, that's, that's the whole story. Um, but you can add more by going to Plugin Planet and looking at the attribute uh, definitions for the custom field shortcode. And here you can see we've already used placeholder, data required, class. No, we didn't use class yet, but you get the idea. You can use any of these back here by simply adding a vertical bar like this, add the attribute name, pound sign to separate, and then class name. And then don't forget to update and update the post and that will come through on the front end.